Hey guys, Donna Michelle here, and I am back with another YouTube video. Now this video is going to be a little different. I'm basically going to walk you through what a weekend morning routine would look like, especially here during my favorite months and my favorite time of year, which is fall slash holiday season. So you'll see this amazing pumpkin pie spice chai latte on the screen. And I'm going to show you guys how to make that. So just stick around. As always, if you are new here to my channel, I'd like to thank you so much for dropping in. I do hope you like, share, and subscribe. So let's just get right into this. So the first thing I do in the morning is make sure that my bed is made. It doesn't matter if we're not leaving. It doesn't matter if we're going to jump back in it. I just want to always make sure I start off with a bed made. Now on this particular morning, it's definitely not my neatest work, but we got it done. And that's what's most important. Don't you guys just love this festive pillow? I feel like it gave our bed such a big pop and that's what it needs during the holiday season. And if you look to the left, you can see Duke's bed. My husband made this, isn't it perfect? Now when I'm all done with the bedroom, I head straight to the living room and I start turning on all of my lights, making sure all of my candles are lit, get the fireplace on so that we can make sure we have that cozy feeling that we're going for. So if you look inside the lantern, we have an amazing faux candle. It's perfect because it looks real um, and it's battery operated and it comes with a little remote so that I don't have to dig in there every morning to turn it on. And as you guys will learn, ASMR videos are my thing. I absolutely love them. So you will always see that playing in the background. Also guys, I am still loving our fireplace. If you wanna know all about that process, just click back a few videos. Okay, now that we have all the candles lit, we have the house smelling amazing, very festive, we are going to get into my favorite part of the morning. Now some mornings I opt for coffee, every now and then I'll do some hot apple cider, but again in this particular video, we are going for my amazing pumpkin pie spiced chai latte with whip and cinnamon on top. Now you don't have to go old school like me with the teapot. I just personally love doing teapot method. You can definitely warm the water in the microwave or in your coffee and Keurig machine, whichever works for you. I'm just pulling out my favorite mug. I absolutely love this coffee mug. I'm definitely in the market for some solid acrylic mugs without any logoing on it, but I definitely love this mug for the time being. So let's get into these ingredients. So the tea that I use um, is just classic uh, chai tea, and that's the brand that I prefer. You can definitely use any brand. You're also going to need some sweetened and condensed milk. Now I ran upon this um, one that comes in a bottle at Walmart. You'll see it here in a second. I absolutely love it because the old school version is the can, and if you don't use it all, then you have to get rid of it. So this is perfect for this latte. Next, we're gonna add in some coffee creamer. Feel free to use milk. 2% milk is great. I usually use 2% milk. Also, some whipped cream for the top. Of course, you need your cinnamon. And it's not pumpkin pie spice without pumpkin pie spice. <laughs> and for a little pizzazz, I like to throw in a cinnamon stick. It just sets it off the way it needs to be done.
looks like our water is ready. So let's get into this latte. So the first thing you're gonna do is of course pour your boiling hot water into your coffee mug over the tea bag. And you usually wanna let that sit for a little while because I want all of that tea flavor to be extracted. And so um, I'll usually let it sit for five, 10 minutes sometimes. Now, some people do two tea bags. I usually don't, but you can do that as well if you like a strong flavor. After I've let it sit, I usually go in with my coffee creamer. Now, add as little or as much as you like. It's the weekend, so I went all out for you guys to show you guys my method. Once that's done, you're gonna add in your sweetened condensed milk. Again, use at your discretion. Then I go in with the pumpkin pie spice. However much, again, however much or however little you want, that's definitely up to you. Everybody's different. I typically don't inundate my drink with it, but I do like a little hint of flavor. And then I typically will use my frother to mix everything together. Now, I like to keep my tea bag in there while I'm drinking, but for this particular video, I didn't. But I usually froth it up, get everything all good and mixed. And then we have our last few steps. So of course, we've gotta go in with the whipped topping. And after I put this on there, I just sprinkle a little cinnamon add in my cinnamon stick, and we are good to go. A reminder, you can use whatever brand of any of these items that you want, tastes just the same. These are just the things that I had on hand. Keep in mind, you can also serve this drink cold during the summer months, but of course we're in the fall. We're expecting some cold fronts to come through, so we are having ours piping hot. Who needs Starbucks when we can do this at home? So, 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 so yummy. After I've had my yummy latte, I usually get up and do a little home workout, head to the shower, and then I come in the living room, cozy up on the couch, and I turn on Disney Plus to watch all of my favorite Halloween movies from my childhood. What's better than that on the weekend? And that is it guys. That is kind of what my mornings look like on the weekends. A lot of times my husband goes to the gym in the morning so I have the house to myself. Just take my time, make up the bed, clean things up, and I love to start my morning with a nice warm beverage. If you guys have any questions about anything that I made, feel free to comment below. Thank you again for watching. I will be back with more content coming your way. Happy fall, y'all.